the Climax Scots Football TV, a very, very special district championship segment. The Panthers claimed their second straight district championship with a 28-14 win over Menden Friday night at Big Blue Stadium. It marked the first time in school history CS has claimed back-to-back -back district championships and the first time CS has defeated Menden in a trophy game after losing six previous games that were played for a district or regional trophy. The 11-0 Panthers will now travel to Ottawa Lake Whitebird Friday, November 11 at 7 p.m. for a rematch of last year's regional title game won by the Bobcats 48-14. Ottawa Lake Whitebird is also 11-0. The Panthers used ball control on their opening drive using 8-18 on the drive that was culminated by Adam Schantz on an 8-yard run at the 342 mark. The two-point conversion attempt was no good and CS led by a 6-0 count after one quarter. Menden came right back with an impressive drive, scoring on a one-yard plunge by Wyatt Cool with 8.55 left in the second quarter. Ruben Vorster kicked the extra point, giving the Hornets their only lead of the game. Menden tried an onside kick, but CS recovered. Both teams enjoyed strong defensive efforts the rest of the second quarter, with Dylan Butler breaking up a pass on a fourth and one play with three seconds left in the first half, which ended with Menden clinging to a 7-6 lead. The CS defense held Menden on a fourth and three early in the third quarter, much to the delight of the very large CS crowd. <laughs> the Menden defense stopped the Panthers on a fourth and four play near midfield, but the Panthers seized the momentum back moments later when Zach Shally recovered a fumble on the CS 44 yard line with 8.04 left in the game. The Panther offensive line then started to open up some holes for CS backs. After Adam Schantz broke loose for a big gain, Noah Eschheis found a hole along the left side of the offensive line and moved the Panthers closer to the goal line. Shantz then culminated the drive with a three-yard touchdown run with 6.04 left in the third quarter for a 12-7 Panther lead. Noah Eschheis ran in the two-point conversion. Menden came storming back with an impressive drive, but the Panthers spoiled any momentum attempts when Dylan Butler tipped the pass that Nathan Vickery caught for a key interception in the end zone with 2.53 left in the third quarter. After the tough CS defense prevented Menden from enjoying a productive drive, CS once again used its potent running attack to run valuable time off the clock, with Noah Eschheis' 33-yard run putting the home team on the Menden six-yard line. Shantz finished the drive three plays later on a two-yard touchdown run with 2.59 left in the game, giving the Panthers a 20-7 lead. The two-point conversion attempt failed, but the CS faithful sniffed the victory was very close.
Linden, behind an impressive passing attack, quickly moved downfield and pulled to within striking distance when Lovell connected with Vorster on a 12-yard touchdown strike with 1.25 left in the game. A successful extra point kick by Vorster pulled Menden to within 20 to 14. Everyone in the stadium was expecting an onside kick attempt by Menden, and it happened. The Hornets nearly pulled off the trick, but Dave Ellinga fell on the loose pigskin on the onside try at the Menden 48-yard line, and CS had the ball. Schantz put the game out of reach on the next play when he found a big hole and scampered 48 yards for a touchdown with 1.13 left in the contest. Eschheis ran in a two-point conversion for the final score. Once again went to its passing game in an attempt to draw within one touchdown, but Cole Eschheis ended any comeback attempts with an interception with 19 seconds left. All that was left for CS to do was run out the remaining seconds on the clock, and the Panthers celebrated a second straight district championship. Kevin Langs accepted the district championship trophy from CS Superintendent Doug Newington, and the celebration was on. Watch out! Watch out! Matt Middleton, Alex Reidenauer, and Coach Kevin Langs talked about winning the district championship game against a tough Menden team, what it took to get to the next round, and the upcoming regional game. No, uh, I mean, this this doesn't get old. You got to do this last year, uh, this year against Menden, and uh, you've never won a trophy over Menden. Climax Scots has never beaten men in a trophy game. Just talk about that feeling. Well, actually, I didn't know that, but that's an awesome opportunity just to come out and play the green and white. 
and to come out with a victory is especially uh, it's a blessing, really, to come out and play with them and compete with them at a high level. And to come out with a win is just, you know, it seemed un unimaginable at uh, Climax Scots, but we worked hard, we checked away at that rock, and uh, we did it. Um, you know, uh, I, Coach Langs, we were talking about, there, there are a lot of heroes in this game. Uh, Ellinga picks up the onside kick. Um, yeah. Uh, you go. I mean, you you were barreling ahead for big yards. You wouldn't stop. Uh, Shauncey wouldn't stop. You had some third down conversions, fourth down conversions, interceptions. Um, it was really a team effort tonight, wasn't it? Uh, it definitely was. I mean, we got to use all eleven. If we're not firing on all cylinders, we, we want to came out with that win. What was the uh, mindset, you know, in practice leading up to this game? Did you guys talk about how how, how we deep? We just talked about you know chipping away at that rock. We. We just said, you know, we cracked at it last year, but it's not anywhere near broken. And I'm sure next year they're going to get the same thing. They're going to have to keep on chipping away. We got a long history with them. We got a lot of catching up to do. Now the the road gets tougher. Now we don't know who you're going to face, but if it's Ottawa or Marinci, um, just talk about what you're going to have to do to get that next trophy. Um, it's going to take a lot of mental preparation. It's going to take a lot of senior leadership. It's uh. <laughs> It'll just it'll be a lot of hard work, a won't it? A lot of hard work. Yeah. A lot of hard work. Um, your your uh, younger brother comes up with an <laughs> interception down there at the end. Uh, just talk about that. You got to be proud. You know, there's no one I'd rather be playing with right now than my little brother. It's an awesome, it's an awesome uh, experience to play with him, and to have him come up with a big play like that. It's just, I'm proud of him. I I couldn't be more proud. I told him right before we went out to make a play for me, and you know, he he definitely did that. He did. He's going to be a super player, too, I think, just like you yes, and your older brother, Sam. Well, Noah, congratulations much. tonight. Thank you, Scoop. You bet. Well, we're real blessed to have uh, Matt Middleton and uh, Alex Ridenauer here. Uh, Matt, just talk about getting back there on the field. You had to, you had to sit out. Um, maybe How's your knee doing? It's good. You know, suffering a knee injury two weeks ago, it was really tough. It was hard to sit out last week, but I know it was the right thing to do, and it was smart. I rested up this week, and I got cleared by the doctor this morning, and I'm back here to play, and we did, we did pretty well tonight. Yeah, uh, Alex, that was quite a game. Uh, Menon's a big rivalry. I don't think we've ever beaten them, or we've—I don't think we've ever won two district title games in a row. Uh, it's climax, Scott. Let's talk about that feeling. Oh, uh, it feels—it feels great. I mean, I, you know, coming in the program and like finding out about the rivalry, and we've beaten them two years in a row. It's, it, it feels great. There's no, there's no, there's no doubt about it that it's one of the greatest feelings. They're a good team. They're good guys, and they're hard. But you know, you know we, we worked hard for it, and. You know, it was great to be a part of school yes. history. Yes, it, it was good to be it was a great It is. We wouldn't um, have that if it wasn't for the people before us. It, it was a, a great game, too. Uh, and Matt, we've never, uh, Climax Scots has never beaten Menon in a trophy game. That's got to be special, too, for you folks. It's, I mean, it, when you think about it, we've never won district back to back district titles. We've never beaten Menden twice in a row. We've never beaten Menden for a district title. Just, it's so crazy that, that we did all these things. But like Alex said, it would not be possible if, we, if it weren't for the people that came before us. So it wasn't for all the hard work put in by those people. That's a good way to look at it. it you get this deep in the playoffs, it truly is playing the next week. It's got to be special for you folks to uh, be playing one more week together, I imagine. There's, there's nothing like it. You know, you come out to practice. Each week it gets colder and colder, and you just got to focus up more because every game is tougher. And you just got to keep battling. You bet. Uh, Alex, it, what about the crowd? What about your fans tonight, both of you? Um, they're they're very supportive, you know. We we you know they're they're just as much part part of the game as, uh, as we are. I mean, they they come out, they come see us, you know, and you know they're just they're a big part of our program. We love them. Having the community behind us is a huge thing, especially when we travel. We always have huge crowds, and it just means so much to us. Well, good job, guys. Congratulations on the district championship. Thanks, Scoop. Thank you, Scoop. You bet. Boy, Coach Langs, uh, what what a what a game tonight! What a battle! You expected this close game with Menden, and two straight district titles in a row. And you, uh, just talk about the win first of all. Well, have two in a row and have it happen at Big Blue Stadium is, is a pretty special night. Um, I just thought our seniors did a great job, especially in the second half. We only had two possessions in the first half. I thought Menden's game plan was tough. Um, you know, we, we made a couple of tweaks here and there, and uh, we were able to move the ball. But a lot of that was effort. I mean, the offensive line and shots and ass ice and. Uh, you know, great job. What a great job by Matt Milton, TJ Gibson. Wanting to be a part of that, coming back off those injuries. And then even Ethan Simmons. You know, what about Davey Ellinger? That, you know, what a hero of the game. We recovered that onside kick. So, uh, uh, 
this is a shout out to Davey. Davey, I hope you see this and make a recording so your kids know how special you are. <laughs> there were, there truly were a lot of um, highlight players. There, uh, uh, Noah Ashice, you, know, you had a lot, of, a lot of fourth and shorts and yeah. third and shorts and shots. And, and the deep, you know, Steve Brady, what a tremendous job of that is defense. He came up with that stop on fourth down inside of here, got the fumble. You know, I thought Coach Brady called it. It was a tough game to call because their offense is tough to defend. And uh, so congratulations to Coach Brady and, and, and you know, uh, Coach B did a nice job in the secondary. Any turning points in your mind? Was it the um, interception there in the second half? Interception the... was huge here. Oh, yeah. I thought uh, the, fourth one, the fourth one and then the fumble recovery. Those three things kind of uh, flowed things our way. But the game still wasn't over, right? Game that, the game that wouldn't die. We had to keep fighting back because it kept seeming like, man, they score, they get an onside. This thing's going to hang in there for a while. Yeah, your kids didn't give up. I mean, uh, that, that was a key fumble recovery by Menden. You were driving, and yep. they, they picked that up, And uh, but your kids did not give up. Yeah, I thought that was a great job. Yeah, it was, that was a mental one to go overcome at halftime. And Chauncey owned it. He said, Coach, I fumbled. That was a good call by the officials, and, and I thought he showed up well in the second half. He, and then uh, we don't know who, uh, I don't think we know yet who won the Ottawa Whiteford Marenzi, but uh, if, if it is uh, Ottawa Whiteford, um, they, they, that's a talented team there, but uh, your kids yeah. have seen them them before. Uh, should be a little closer, I would think. Yeah, we're hoping we're going to have to do some things because they're, they're, they, most of their kids are coming back, so it'll be a, whoever it is, we know it'll be a tough battle like tonight. Um, just talk about, I know you, you have to coach, but the, the environment here at Big Blue Stadium. Oh, wow. hey, crowd coming in at five and seats being saved. And uh, yeah, I mean, if uh, you want a small town, it feels like a private school environment for tuition free. I'd come to Climax Cats. That's great. And I guess, Coach, uh, you, you, do we have another shout out tonight? <laughs> well, I don't know what happened in USA. Yeah. So uh, we're hoping that the Patriots and the Ugly Bears are going at it tonight with them. And uh, but, uh, shout out a lot of alumni were here tonight. We saw Nick Ludwig, Nicholas, and, and TJ Haas came back to say hi yeah. to us. And Cody Leverson, and so Alexander Saltzman. So a lot of ex players. And, we appreciate that. And shout out to our volleyball team. We had a great season. We lost a tough match in the district finals last night. Yep. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations. A really super win tonight by your team. Thanks. Hey, and Marty Mayer, uh, Bobby, if you happen to see this online, Jesus loves you. Thanks. Now remember, CS will travel to Otto Lake Whiteford Friday, November 11 at 7 p.m. for the regional championship game. Reporting live from beautiful Big Blue Stadium, this is Scoop for www.theclimaxcrescent.com. Into this group, uh, make sure you enjoy the time, right? Hoping having a